Now, did you know you can add intelligence to your AutoCAD blocks and drawing using wipeout feature? Now, here is an example of wipeout feature in action for a door block. And here is another example of wipeout used on a furniture block to automatically hide the hatch pattern which is underneath the block. Now, in this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step method of making these type of blocks and objects in AutoCAD. So, with that, let's get started. Alright, so let's start with this example. Here we have a room. I'll go to hatch pattern and I'll create a flow pattern right here. So I'll go to this drop down and select NC37. Also, I'll change the color to cyan and now I'll click inside this area and we have it. But it looks like it's a solid hatch pattern because of the scale. So I'll change the scale to 50. That looks better. With that, let's close the hatch. Okay, now these objects are blocks and we are going to add these blocks inside the drawing. So let's do it one by one. I'll select this set, move from this point. I'm going to just move it about here and I'll also move this door right about here. And as you can see, we have this problem. Now, this is a table and this flow pattern should not be visible because, well, of course, it is an underneath that table. Also, the same thing is with this door. So here, this is the door panel and the flow pattern should not be visible, but it is. So we'll fix these two problems using wipeout feature. Now, I already have this door as well as this table set, but these two objects are not blocks. They are simple objects. So let's first convert it into block. And even before we convert it into block, we'll add the wipeout feature. Now, before we move any further, I want to share a completely free AutoCAD beginners course with you. If you are new to AutoCAD and you want to learn it in a step-by-step -step way, right from scratch, along with instructor support and a certificate of completion, then I have linked a course in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. It is completely free and there are no conditions or bells and whistles. Just sign up and start learning. Now, back to the video. So, I'll type wipe out and press enter. Now, when you do that, AutoCAD will show you two options, frame and polyline. And by the way, if you want to start wipeout without using command, you can go to draw panel and from here also you can start wipeout. Now back to this. You can select frame if you want to make your frame. So I'll select frame, but frame has a problem. You can create frame, but you cannot select any existing point, which is not that good. So I'll just exit this option and rather I'll just select polyline option. So we'll make a polyline first. So I'll go to polyline. I'll click on this point, then this, then this one, this, 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 and this. Now we need to close the polyline, but instead of clicking here to close the polyline, I'll type C and press enter. Now AutoCAD will also know that this is a closed polyline. If you click it, AutoCAD won't know if it is an open or a closed polyline. So that's how you should make the polyline for wipeout feature because it works only for closed polyline. Okay, now that is done. Let's convert it into a block. But before that, wipeout feature. So I'll type wipeout, press enter, and I'll select polyline. Now I'll select this polyline, which we just now created. And also, do you want to erase the polyline? Well, I'll select yes. And the polyline is erased. All we have is this simple wipeout feature. And right underneath this, we already have this frame. If you want to show these frames, well, you can do that as well. So I do want to show these frames. So I'll select this and also I'll select this, both of these. And I'll type draw order, press enter. And now this should be at the front. So I'll select front and now these two lines will also show up. So it is exactly like the block which we had here. Now we are ready to convert it into a block. But before we do that, let's fix this one as well. So here also we can add our wipeout feature. So let's type wipeout, press enter. And here I'll start with this point. Now I'm not selecting any frame as you can see or I'm not even selecting a ready-made polyline because if you directly start clicking on points, you can create these kind of frames where you can use reference of existing objects. So I'll just do that. And with that, I'll press enter and we have this wipeout feature added. Now we'll do it one more time for this rectangle. So once again, wipe out, or you can press enter to repeat the last command. This point, this point, this one, and this one press enter and done. We have two wipeout features added here. 
Now, this will be useful in a moment, but for now, well, that's that. Let's convert it into block. So go to create block, and I'm going to type WP for wipeout dash furniture and pick point. Maybe I'll select this one as the pick point. Then select objects. I'll select this entire set of objects, enter, and click OK, and the block is done. I'll repeat the process. So again, create block, WP for wipeout, and then door, pick point. Well, I'll select maybe this one as the pick point. Then select objects. I'll select this entire set of objects, enter, and I'll click OK. So that's also done. So we have these two blocks with wipeout feature. Now, what's the additional thing here? Well, let's add this floor pattern again with the same settings. And now if we add this block in our drawing, I'll once again take reference of this and I'll add it maybe about here. This will happen. It will automatically clean the background. The same thing will happen with this. Now here we have door. And if you want to clean this wall area, well, this door will help because this already has this wipeout feature. All you need to do is just select this point and move it wherever you want. So maybe I'll just move it right about here. And there it is. It automatically cleaned the wall for you. And also here you can see that it is clean, completely clean area. Not just that, if you add something else, for example, these two furnitures, actually these two objects, this computer as well as this telephone, if you add it right about, let's say, here, well, this will happen. So you can actually add it and then fix it slightly using draw order. So it is added here, but it's hidden. It's right behind this wipeout feature. So to fix it, simply type draw order, press enter, select this object and select this object, press enter and select front. And now they're brought to the front and everything that you need is visible. Everything that you don't need is not. Now there is one more use case of this wipeout feature. Let me show you. So for that, once again, I'll add this floor pattern and close it. Now let's say we want the exact same thing that we had here. So I'll just select this thing, this entire thing. And let's just make a copy of this entire set here. And uh, what about here? Okay, there we are. So this is added, but now we also want to add another furniture here, actually a circular table. Now for that, well, you can create a circle, but unfortunately wipeout feature won't work for circles, arcs and things like that. It can only work for lines, actually not even lines. It's going to work only for polyline. So we need to ensure that our circle is made with polyline that is possible using this polygon tool. So I'll go to polygon and now here, we need to enter number of sites. So I'll add a really large number. Actually, 1024 is the largest limit. So maybe let's just try that. Or you can use a smaller number like 600 or so. That's going to also make it look like it's a circle. So I'll just select 600, press enter. Now I specify center of polygon. So maybe I'll just select right about here. That's the center. And then inscribed. And I'll make it like that. Now this may look like it's a circle, but if you select it, well, it is not. It's actually a bunch of polylines and a close one. Now that we have this polyline here, we can use the wipeout feature here. Now, how do we do that? Well, to use the feature, we need to type wipeout, press enter, and then select the polyline and click on this. Done. It is polyline. Well, yes, we only want the wipeout feature and it is done. Now we have this table, but this table is made with glass. So there should be a bit of transparency here and that also you can add. So select this. And now right click, go to properties and here you can add transparency. So I'll add a transparency of 80 or maybe let's just try 50 or maybe a smaller number, a transparency of 30. Okay. That looks better. So there we are. Now with that transparency, it kind of looks like it is a piece of glass and you can see through this. So that's another use case of wipeout feature. So that's how you can use wipeout feature to add intelligence to your AutoCAD blocks. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in the next video. And don't forget to sign up for the free AutoCAD beginners course. Link is once again in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. We'll see you soon in the next one. Take care.